I'm going to show you how to make a May the 4th Star Wars inspired video game using Scratch. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I sub suggest that you subscribe and follow me because I post videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get going on today's activity. For today's project, you're going to need to go to the link in the comments section of my YouTube page to find this Scratch project. It's empty, but it's got all of the sprites you'll need to create this May the 4th project. When you get here, click the Remix button. You'll see it right there. It's a green Remix button, and then we can start coding. The first character we should code probably is Darth Vader. You'll see that I put Darth in the corner here and that he's about 50% size. You can change his size, bigger or smaller, and you can put him somewhere else if you like. It's up to you. But let's have him saying some of his most famous lines. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm on Darth Vader right now. I'm going to go to get a green flag. And when a green flag is clicked, here let me make this a little bit bigger for you at home or at school, wherever you're working so you can see it. When the green flag is clicked, let's have him say something, and the say is in the looks button right there. Say, he's not going to say hello, he's going to say something else. He's going to say, I find your lack of um, faith disturbing. That's something Darth Vader would say, and I'm going to have him say that for about three seconds. So there we go. I find your lack of faith disturbing. That's something Darth Vader would say. I'm going to get him to say one more thing. So I'm going to get another one of these say hello buttons. And I'm going to have him say, your powers are weak for three seconds as well. Then I'm going to put a forever loop around the whole thing so he's talking throughout the game. But... If I leave it like this, he's just going to say them over and over. I like to have a little bit of um, uh, randomness to it. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a wait in there. I'm going to grab the wait. And instead of waiting one second, look, I'm going to go to the operators button right there and pick a number between 1 and 10. So he might say it right away. He might wait up to 10 seconds before he says the first one. Now I'm going to do it once again. I'm going to get another wait, put it right in there. Go get another random 1 to 10 right there. So we don't know when exactly he's going to say them. But he's going to say those things over and over throughout the game. Let's just test this. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay, so he should be talking in a moment. Come on, Darth. Perfect. Great. And then he'll say the next one next. So I'm going to leave this up here. If you're stuck, please take a look at my code. And when you're ready to move on to the next character, I'll be here waiting. Next, let's do the Stormtrooper. You'll see there's no code on the Stormtrooper yet. I like that he starts way over here, so let's get him to always start over there. So look, green flag, go to, and right there. He's at 170 and 70. That's right there. So whenever you hit the green flag, that's where he's going to start the game. Right there. Perfect. And then he's going to forever go to a random position. So that's pretty easy. Control, get a forever loop. And then go to a random position. The go to again is in the motion button blue. Go to a random position. But if we leave it like that, watch, he'll go way too fast all over the place. So we're going to have him wait one second every time. That'll give us enough time to blast him away um, and, and build our force. So I'm going to go get a wait button right there. Wait one second. So go to a random position forever and ever and wait one second. Perfect. Um, one other problem, though, you'll see sometimes he might go behind a character. He might go behind Darth or behind Chewbacca or something. So let's always have him go to the front layer. So I'm just going to stop for a minute. And it's in the Looks button. And go to Front. So is it, he's always in front of all of the other characters. So go to Front. So green flag, make sure it's in the front. Go to 170 and 70, which was way over here. And then forever, go to a random position and wait one second. That's all. I'm going to leave this here. If you get stuck, look at my code. And when you're ready for the next character, I'll be here waiting. Next character. And while Chewie does all the firing of the lasers at the Stormtrooper, there's not much real coding for Chewie. Watch. We're just going to have him make sure that he starts right here. So I'm going to go and get the green flag. And when he's, the green flag is clicked, he's going to go to that spot, which is 0 and negative 130. And that's all we have to do for Chewbacca. So that's pretty easy.
Next is the title, May the 4th. You know, you can move this anywhere you want and change the size and until you got it just right. There's no coding for this uh, title, except we're going to add the music on this sprite. So I'm going to add music. I'm going to try to find Star Wars kind of music. And so look what I'm going to do. Uh, when the green flag is clicked, we're going to start playing some music. So I'm going to go to the sounds right there, sounds. And then I'm going to go choose a sound. So I'm going way down here. I'm going to click choose a sound. And the sound that I want is in the loops. So I'm going to click on loops. You can choose whatever sound you like. The one I think that sounds most Star Wars like is called Movie 2. Listen. So I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to double click Movie 2. Perfect. There we go. And I'm going to go back to the code. And now look, when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to go to the sound button. And I'm going to ch choose Play Sound uh, Movie 2 until done. So play sound movie two until done. And then when it is done, repeat forever and ever and ever. So I'm going to put a forever loop around that. So there you go. So this is the code for the title. It's the music. Green flag forever play sound movie two. Let's just test it already. Green flag and go. Perfect. Um, that's the code for this one. But for the remainder of this uh, video, I'm just going to separate these two so the music isn't playing while I'm chatting, okay? So, good luck with that. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Next up is the text, Blast the Stormtroopers. And we're going to have it scroll like you see in a real Star Wars movie. So, I'm going to go get a green flag. So, when the green flag is clicked, we want it to start kind of near the bottom. So, I'm going to have it go to... And where I thought is good is like negative 15 and negative 110. I was experimenting with that earlier and you can choose your own numbers, but I kind of like that. Let's just see where it starts. Ready? Yeah, way down there. So now we're going to have it scroll upward. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the Y coordinates change by one. So change Y by one. So it's going up kind of slowly, not 10. And I'm going to have it do this 70 times. So I'm going to get a repeat repeat 70 times again I was experimenting with this earlier so I kind of figured out numbers that work for me you can always change them and play around with them if you like let's just test that ready green flag and go okay I like that it's going up at a nice speed and I'm gonna have it stop there just for a second so everyone has time to read it so wait for one second right there and then we're gonna have it continue scrolling upwards so I'm gonna go get another change y by one Change Y. Remember, Y is the ones that go up and down. Change Y by 1. And I'm going to repeat that 100 times. Repeat 100 times. Okay, there. Repeat 100. Let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. So it starts way down there. Stops for a second. And then it continues all the way up to the top. Now, if you really want, you can make it fade. So I'm going to use the ghost feature. Watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the looks button right there. And I'm going to have set ghost effect. So not all the way to 100, but to maybe 70. Set the ghost effect. Ghost right there. So now it's going to be not totally invisible, but almost invisible. The ghost effect is set to 70. Watch. When I hit the green flag, you won't see it very well. See that? How it's really faded like that? So now look. Every time it changes... Uh, by one, I'm going to change the ghost effect by one too. So it's getting a little bit brighter each time. So change ghost effect. You don't have to do the ghost effect. I like the ghost effect, so I'm going to do it for this scrolling. So change effect by one. There we go. Now it's going to get brighter and brighter. Ready? Green flag and go see. Whoops. Uh, negative one. Negative one. So it's getting brighter. It's kind of weird, the ghost effect. Green flag and go. See how it's getting brighter and brighter? So there it stops for a second and it continues on, but I'm going to make it even brighter for the last part. So change ghost effect by one so it, it starts to disappear again. So at the beginning, it's going to get brighter and brighter and then it's going to almost disappear. Ready? Green flag and go. So it's brighter and brighter. You can read it really well right there and then it's going to fade away. Perfect. So there is the code. Uh, let me make it smaller. There's the code for the text. So if you get stuck, please look at my text. And of course, you can change all the numbers and experiment with it so it looks just right for you. Anyways, once you're done the text, we're going to get on to the hardest part, the ball. That's where most of the coding is for this activity. Anyways, when you're ready for the ball, I'll be here waiting. 
Next is the ball, and this is actually the laser that we use to blast the stormtroopers. And this is where most of the coding happens, and it could be a little bit tricky, so I'm going to go a little bit slowly here. Anyways, I've already created a variable for you called force. See that? Force right there at zero. So when a green flag is clicked, we want the variable force to start at zero. So now I'm going to go to the variables button, set force to zero. So at the beginning of the game, the force should be zero. Now, we want the ball to go in behind Chewbacca at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to go to the motion button and go to, and it should be behind Chewbacca. So Chewbacca was at 0 and negative 130, if I remember correctly, there. And then we want him to go behind Chewbacca, not in front of him. So I'm going to go to the looks, go to back layer, behind Chewbacca, back layer. So there we go, green flag, the ball is hiding back there, force is zero, perfect. So that's the first part there, I'm just going to pause. Now we're going to start uh, um, coding for the ball to fire at the stormtrooper. And you fire at the stormtrooper by hitting the space bar. So watch what I, I'm going to do, I'm going to go get when space key is pressed. I'll just move this over here so we have room. When the space key is pressed, we want it to make that pew sound like in Star Wars. So look, I'm going to go to the sounds button right there. I'm going to go to choose a sound. I'm going to go to effects right there. And the one I want is called pew. You can choose whatever you want, but I kind of like this one for this game. Like that. So you double click it two times. And then we have our pew sound right there. Pew. So now I'm going to go back to code. And then, when the space key is pressed, start the sound pew. So I'm going to the sounds, start sound pew. So let me go there, start sound pew like that. Now let's see if that works. Ready, green flag, I'm going to hit the space bar. Perfect. Now we're going to code it so that the ball actually flies out towards the mouse pointer so we can control it. So now look, I'm going to go to the motion and get the glide. Glide for one second to a random position. I'm going to fix that. I don't want a random position. I want it to glide to my mouse pointer. So wherever my mouse pointer is. Ready, let's just test that out. Green flag and go. Oh, it's going way too slowly. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it glide for 0.1 really fast. Okay, to my mouse pointer. Let's test it out. Ready, green flag and go. There we go. Perfect. Not quite done. Uh, I noticed, you probably noticed there's a little bit of a glitch there. We'll get to that in a minute. But now, if this ball is touching the stormtrooper, we should get a, a point for our force. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get an if-then statement. If. If. Right there. If touching stormtrooper. Touching is a sense. It's an sensing. Touching. I know it says mouse point. I'm going to change that in a minute. I'm going to glide. I drag it right in there. Watch. When it turns white, I'm going to let go. Perfect. It's going to pop right in there. If touching the stormtrooper, then you're going to get a point for your force. So I'm going to go to variables. Change force by one. Perfect. So now, if this yellow ball touches a stormtrooper, you get a point for your force. Um, however, I'm going to make it a bit trickier. If it touches Darth Vader by accident, you go all the way back to zero. So now I'm going to go get another if statement. If. If. Now another touching. If touching Darth Vader. Touching, not mouse pointer, but DV, Darth Vader. If touching DV, then set the points all the way back to zero. Okay, so no matter how many points you got, if you happen to shoot Darth Vader by accident, uh, he won't like that. You're going to go all the way to zero your points. And then we want the ball to wait just a second. Uh, watch what I do. I'm going to go get a wait. Not one second, I'm sorry, but zero decimal one. Just wait a millisecond and then go all the way back to where he started behind Chewbacca. So go to, um, where did he start? So he started at 0 and negative 130. That was right back in here. So now watch. Ready? Green flag. See how it shoots? But he also goes back to behind Chewbacca. See, the ball is right back there. And every time I click the space bar, he goes to my mouse pointer. I should be getting points if I hit, um, oh, I went all the way down to 0 because I hit Darth Vader. There we go. See that? I'm getting points. But if I hit Darth Vader, I go all the way back to zero. So that's working pretty well. I'm just going to pause there. Hey, if you get stuck, I'll make this a bit smaller. Please look at my code. This is the most complicated part of this game. But if you get this, the last couple of parts are easy. And you should have a great game in a few more minutes. So I'll leave that up there. You take a look at my code if you get stuck. And when you're ready for the next part, 
I'll be here waiting. Next, we're going to code it so that whenever you do hit the Stormtrooper with the lasers, the two Ewoks jump in celebration. So watch how I do that. I'm already on the first Ewok there, right there, perfect. And I'm going to make sure he starts uh, at that position every time. So green flag, we want him to go to wherever he is now, which is 120 and negative 95. Perfect, that's where he is. Wonderful. Now, we got to set it up so that when the laser does hit the Stormtrooper, that it sends a message to the Ewoks to jump. This is a bit tricky, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the ball right there. If touching the Stormtrooper, if it's touching the Stormtrooper, the ball, we're going to have it send a message to the Ewoks. So send a message. So I'm going to go to the events. Watch. I don't know if you've used this one before, but it's going to broadcast a message. I'm going to put it right in there. Broadcast message. I'm going to call it uh, jump. Okay. So if touching the Stormtrooper broadcast, jump. And watch what happens. Now I'm going to go to the Ewok and I'm going to go get this. When the Ewok receives jump, he's going to change his Y position up and then back down. So watch how I do that. Uh, change Y by, not by 10, but let's try it by 5. So it's a little bit slower. It looks a bit more natural. And repeat that 5 times. Repeat 5 times. Great. So that's up. And now we're going to make him go down. So I'm going to get another repeat by 5. And change Y by negative 5. So it comes back down. Change Y by negative 5 negative five. So whenever you hit the stormtrooper, it should send a message to jump. The Ewok should get the message jump and then actually change Y by five a whole bunch of times, then change Y by negative five. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag. Watch. I'm just going to see if I can make the Ewok jump. Ready? Uh, space bar. There. See him jump? I'm going to do it again. Nice. He jumps every time you hit the stormtrooper uh, in celebration. So there's the code for the Ewok. That's Ewok number one. Do the exact same thing for Ewok number two. So you can use this code for Ewok one and for Ewok two. Except for Ewok two, you're going to have them start at a different spot. So the um, uh, starting spot will be a little bit different. Probably the Y will be, no, the X will be 130. That'll probably be for the second Ewok. You'll have to experiment with that number a little bit. Anyways, once you've got those uh, Ewoks coded, I'll be here ready for you for the last part of our game. Okay, last thing. Hey, I don't like that everything starts happening right when you hit the green flag. The music comes on, Darth Vader starts talking, um, all that kind of stuff. It's just too distracting. See the that's moving already? I can't even read the instructions. So... Just to make it a bit simpler, so everyone has time to read the text here and figure what's going on, I'm going to make everybody wait five seconds to start. So look, I'm going to go to Darth Vader. I'm going to go get the um, control. Wait one second. So before he starts talking, wait five seconds. So Darth Vader is going to wait five seconds before he starts talking. Now I'm going to go to the Stormtrooper. Before he starts moving all over the place, I'm going to have him wait five seconds. This gives us time to read the text and figure out what's going on. So the stormtrooper is going to wait five seconds. Now I'm going to go to the text. No, the music, I mean. So before the music starts playing, I'm going to have the music wait five seconds. So I have time to read the instructions and then the game will begin. So watch. Ready? Green flag. Five second delay and then the game will begin. Perfect. You have time to read everything and then the game begins. <laughs> Oh, I hit Darth Vader. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that game, and I look forward to seeing you at our next activity. Uh, check for me on YouTube and uh, on Scratch. Hey, I hope you had an enjoyable day today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.